I will give you right now, uh, and yeah, I'll go ahead and give you my top five. Let me make it some breaking news for you. My breaking news top five of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time. It's now time for your breaking sports news now. on the Sports <laughs> Brothers Radio Network. So, my greatest hip-hop albums of all time. Coming in at number five, Get Rich or Die Trying by 50 Cent. Number five, number four, Jay-Z, Reasonable Doubt. Got to put Jay in the top five. Number three, Eric B. is president. Yes. It's now time for your Eric B. News on the Sports Brothers Radio Network. Eric B. is president. Number three. Number two, The Chronic by Dr. Drizze. And, of course, you know number one, Notorious Big, Ready to Die. So there you have it. There you have it. Top five. Compare that to yours. Top five. Number one, Biggie is the illest, Ready to Die. Number two, The Chronic. Got Eric B. and Rakim. I think Rakim changed rap altogether, man. Because when Rakim came out, uh, he changed the whole way ninjas rap back in the day, you know. Rap was very elementary before Rock Him. You know, it was very, very, very elementary. I mean it was. It was. It was. Dudes used to rap like, my name is Jeff, and I am dumb. And I and I will kick it to the left. It, it, it was simple. It was elementary. <laughs> It was elementary. And then Rakim came in with, you know, I came to the door. I said it before. I never let the mic make the ties me no more because it fight me and fight me and begging me to rhyme. I can't hold it back. I'm looking for the line. Taking off my coat, clearing my throat. My rhyme will be kicking in until I hit the last note. Yes! He just kept going and going and going and going and going. And I never heard nobody rap like that before. I was like, damn, when does he breathe? I never heard nobody rap like that before. And then everybody started flipping the, that's when wordplay came into hip hop. Because before, everybody else could rap. It was no big deal. Everybody could rap. You know, if you could say a nursery rhyme, you could be a hip hop artist, basically. Rakim changed the game, and then Big Daddy Kane and all them cats. I mean, so I had to put Rakim in the top five. And um, I offended a lot of people, man. I uh, offended a lot of people who saw me uh, post my list and and got really, really, really angry with me because nowhere in the top five on the Jeff Fox Greatest Album list was Public Enemy. Nowhere in the top five. How dare you? How dare you have a top five with no Public Enemy? You can't do that. I mean, you know, I, 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 I also didn't have the Wu-Tang Clan in my top five either. No Wu-Tang Clan. Ah. Uh, uh, there's there people about to protest outside my house right now. A top five without Public Enemy or the Wu Tang Clan? That's stupid. I know, I know, but there's only five of them. You can only have five. And I, again, I'm looking at my top five: Notorious at one. Argue with that. Chronic at two. Argue with that. The Chronic was revolutionary if you were around in the 90s. That was around the time of the OJ trial, the Rodney King beating. Chronic was legendary. Still is. So I can't take that out. I gave you my thoughts on, uh, on, um, I gave you my thoughts on, on, um, what's his face? Rakim? Rakim gotta be in the top five. Rakim changed hip-hop. He did. So he got to be in the top five. 